one chance, got one job. Go to KaplanCycles.com forward slash raffle, and you could win the Kaplan America CR500. Ripper. What would you do to it? Gave it the wizard tune. Cobb work was a secret. A little bit over the suggested 100 pound weight limit, but uh, it's still got plenty of two stroke power to rrr, 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 rip your house off the foundation. <laughs> Typical Honda quality. We're surrounded by greatness today, guys. Everything from the 73 Elsinore 250, the 60, the 80, the 125, the 250, the 500, the 500 AF, the 500 Steely, and the 450 F, the 2020. To 50 years of moto greatness right here at Kaplan Cycles, the only place on the planet you're ever going to see it. And this is a nice example of the original Honda CR60. If you're looking to add to your collection, buy it now because they're getting super rare. What's happening, son? What do you think of this awesome Honda? That thing's sweet. It's the nicest Honda I've ever seen. Wow. What do you know about this bike? I know that it's a two stroke and it's got a clutch and it's a 1983. It's a nice bike. Today's a big day for you. Kind of a bittersweet day uh, kind of sad but happy because of what's going to happen w what happened earlier today i just sold my crf um 70 cc a four stroke it yeah i sold it for 1500 i almost doubled profit on the bike that's awesome hey uh i think you already picked out your next bike what's it going to be it's either going to be a 120 125 or 110 honda honda i'm, I'm telling him i'm telling him to go with the 125 and then he can get the big wheel kit later when he gets taller and I'll never outgrow it. The 110, I think, is a semi-automatic three-speed. The 125, I'm pretty sure, is a five-speed. I yep. could be wrong, but kick-ass bikes. Good choice. Honda all the way, little buddy. Yep. Keep the shiny side up. They say you meet the smartest people on a Honda and the happiest people on a Honda. You're proof. What's up, fellas? Feast your eyes on this classic 1984 Honda CR60. This bike was made the year I graduated high school. This is the holy grail of two-stroke mini race bikes from that era. It is an air-cooled forward axle forks. Pro Link single shock on the back. The Tahitian red with the custom Steiger graphics on the number plates, the AMA, the uh, American flag. This thing just looks the part. It's got a brand new set of Renthal bars on it, Uri grips, new clutch cable. The um, Renthal crossbar pad is brand new. The front number plate graphics and side number plate graphics are new. It's got a brand new Dunlop tire on the front. It's got a brand new gold chain and new Dunlop tire on the rear. If you look closely, you'll see this is an excellent original Survivor. The pegs are nice and straight. The original exhaust system on it is in mint condition. There's no dents on it. Usually they're all dented up. The rims are nice and straight. The forks have a nice shine on the aluminum. Just a beautiful piece. It went through the service department here at Kaplan Cycles. I'll go over the service order. They did 14 hours labor on it. The bike was steam clean, hand washed, degreased. They repainted the frame and the motor and the pegs and the swing arm and the hubs. And they polished the plastics, the spokes, all the chrome on the wheels. Um, it's got new plastics on it. Uh, I think it's the front fender is brand new and maybe the front number plate is new. Let me go over the work order. It's further down here. And then they, they cleaned everything on the bike. What like a rotisserie detail. It has a new crossbar pad, a new Bridgestone M403 front tire, new M404 rear tire, new gold chain. Also the has a new fuel petcock on it. Got a set of Dunlop Geomax MX-53 tires front and rear, brand new set of Renthal handlebars, URI grips, and of course the Steiger graphics. Wizard worked on this. Actually, no, Mario Testa worked on this one. So this one's tested tuned. Did a compression test, 150 PSI, uh, good spark, put a new spark plug in it, changed the gear loop, replaced the fuel line, uh, put a new uni air filter in there, boiled it, uh, removed the carb, cleaned it, adjusted it, reset it, reinstalled it, put a new fuel petcock on it, replaced the vent lines on the carb, installed the new tires, new uh, seal on the intake boot, replaced the ignition side crank seal, so it has new crank seal in it also, a new gold chain, uh, has the side stand on it, which is pretty remarkable. That's like the first thing, that, there's a, a, a clue that this was not a race bike. That's a first, you're not even allowed to race them with the kickstand, they always remove those from it. Um, this one still has the kickstand on it. The, um, that's pretty much it, total of, 
14 hours labor on the work order here, a four page work order with parts and labor it came to $1,835 of preservation or restoration services. Take a close look, you see the frames in beautiful condition. The bike shows very well, it runs as good as it looks. It's got the original gas tank on there, which still has a nice shine on it. Um, the frame rails are perfectly straight, not a single dent on this side, which is a clue that it wasn't ridden by uh, Ricky Carmichael when he was 10 years old, that's for sure. If you look on this side here, you'll see this frame rail also, no dents in it, nice and straight. That's a hallmark of a, a bike that's uh, been mostly trail ridden. Runs as good as it looks. If you have any questions, give us a call, 860-454-7024. Thanks for watching, God bless America.